On August 18th, I was blessed to celebrate the opening school mass for Edgewood High School. And in my homily, I said to the students, think about who you are right now and the relationships you have, the beliefs you hold, the things you understand. Because come next May, you will not be that same person. That this school year is going to change you, challenge you, stretch you. You will learn new things. You will develop new friendships. You will come into new fields of knowledge. And that you'll be a different person just within a few months. That's what education does. It draws out of us what's there, um, forms it, enhances it, and perfects it. And so it is with the Christian life, you know, that if we're open to God forming us and shaping us, we will be constantly growing, and sometimes that pain, that, that growth is painful because it demands that we let go of who we think we are so that we can become who God knows us to be. All that is to say, I just wish everyone in our, our Catholic schools a blessed, fruitful, and holy year. So I think of um, Michael Lancaster and the folks in his office here at the diocese. I think of our, our principals and staff, our pastors, our teachers. It's difficult to find teachers to fill all the roles, and I just want to give a shout out to all of our teachers who heroically and generously offer themselves as, as formators, as educators for our children in our diocesan schools. And for all of our students, our great treasure, our young people, I pray for you that you may grow in your love for Jesus Christ. You may come to know him as your savior. And next month, I look forward to on October 7th when we consecrate all of our schools to the Blessed Mother. And many of you will be there for that mass. So we consecrate ourselves. We set ourselves aside for that sacred purpose, to be beloved children of God. Blessings on this school year. May be it fruitful, happy, holy, and healthy.